using a tangent to calculate speed in a curve by kscience.com. This part of the journey shows the object moving 40 meters in 40 seconds. So this next part of the journey shows the object moving 20 meters in 40 seconds. And for the last 40 seconds of the journey, this object moves zero meters. So this object starts its journey at a constant speed of one meter per second. And then at 40 seconds, it decreases its speed to 0 0.5 meters per second. And for the last 40 seconds, the object is stationary. So these two parts of the graph that I'm circling, these show where there's going to be a change in speed, but they show an instant change in speed. And an object will not go from one meter per second to 0 0.5 meters per second instantly. So what I'm drawing here is a similar journey. The first 30 meters got a steady speed, and then there's going to be a decrease in speed in the second part of the journey, and the object will end up being stationary for the final part of the journey as seen here. This part of the graph shows a constant speed. Constant speed. However, this bit here, there is a curvature to it. So there is a curved part of the graph now. This curve shows a deceleration. It shows a slowing down in speed. And then the object continues at a constant speed, constant speed. And then you've got another curve here in the graph. This shows another area of deceleration. So this shows another area of deceleration. So the car will then come to a stop. This part of the graph here, the car is not moving, so it's stationary. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. The first part of the graph shows a constant speed. The second part of the graph shows an increased constant speed as there is a steeper gradient of the line. This part of the graph shows an instant acceleration from a lower speed to a higher speed. Instant acceleration from a lower speed to a higher speed. So the car starts off its journey at a constant speed. Constant speed. And this curve here shows an acceleration. But this curve here shows an acceleration, an increase in its speed. So the object will now have an increased constant speed. Increased constant speed. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. If an object is changing speed, which we call accelerating, you can find its speed at a point by finding the gradient of the tangent to the curve at that point. So we're gonna now try and find the gradient of the tangent of the curve at 60 seconds and at 105 seconds on the second graph. So I've now drawn a tangent to the curve on both graphs. So to work out the gradient, we need to find out the change in the vertical and the change in the horizontal. So firstly, there's a constant speed of the object. And then at 60 seconds, it is going to accelerate to a new increased constant speed. We're trying to find out the speed of the object while it's accelerating at 60 seconds. So to work out the gradient of the tangent, you need to do change in vertical divided by the change in horizontal. So our change in the vertical is going to be the change in the distance traveled. That's going to be 55 meters. And the change in the horizontal, that's going to be the change in time. That's going to be 80 seconds minus 37 seconds, which gives you a change in time of 43 seconds. So to work out the speed during the acceleration, it's going to be the change in vertical, which is going to be 55 meters, divided by the change in horizontal, which is 43 seconds. That gives you a speed at 60 seconds of 1.27 meters per second. So to work out the gradient of the tangent of the second graph, 
you need to do change in vertical divided by the change in horizontal. So the change in vertical is 40 meters. So the change in vertical is 40 meters. And the change in horizontal is 120 seconds minus 58 seconds, which equals 62 seconds. So we can calculate the speed. While the car is accelerating at 105 seconds, it's going to be is 40 meters divided by 62 seconds. So that'll give you a speed of the car while it's accelerating at 105 seconds of 0 0.64 meters per second. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.